came out 31, we had a question coming out of section 9.2, number 65. And here we were given this sequence, this 1 half n plus 5. And in 64, they said get the first seven terms and then graph it. So let's go ahead and graph it. Um, make sure that your mode is in sequence mode, which I have. And then head over to your y equals. Now, this was the last example I did. So let me swap out my formula with the one we have. So 1 half n plus 5. And if I think about my starting value, if I was going to plug in n equaling 1, um, 1 half plus 5 is 5.5. So let me actually start us at 5.5. All right, I got that. Now let me adjust my window. Um, I've got uh, my n going from 1 to 10. I mean, technically it, it said just graph the seven, first seven terms here, but I, I can go ahead and graph 10. Um, I don't know what my x values will wind up being. I'll leave that at negative 10 to 10. Um, and let me see what the y-axis looks like. Okay, let's just try this and see what it looks like. All right, so just taking a look at this graph, you can see I don't need these three quadrants. So let me just adjust my window. I'm going to go from 0 to 10 and 0 to 10 in the x and y direction. So let me go 0 to 10 here. And then we scroll down here and go 0 to 10. And let's see, that's looking a little better. I actually could even cut it off a little bit. Right, I don't technically need this lower chunk here. So if you wanted to go even further, and this you can just knock yourself out, right? Maybe I want to start at five because we said that first value is five and a half, right? And then now it really starts to look like a line. And it is a linear function. I mean, this is a line with a slope of one half and a y-intercept of five. But there you go. That's how you graph that thing. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.